All right, class, we got to deal with these parent graphs today. We got three parent functions that we've got to learn about before we can take down all these graphs. All right, so if you're parent functions, we got three kinds we're going to run. The first one's called a linear function. So how that works is you'll have, say, f of x is equal to x. And a lot of times people, when they see the f of x, when they go to graph it, they just scrap that and they'll just write it y equals x. So Here's your first, your linear function. We want to see what that graph looks like. If it's just y equals x, it's the graph of a straight line. y equals x goes right through there. That is your first parent function. So there's three parent functions we're going to run today, three graphs. The first one is a linear, y equals x, looks just like that. So this one's linear, it's a straight line. Next up, do the next one. Let's do absolute value. So, what does an absolute value look like? Well, you guys know absolute value. You got those bars in there. So, you're for you write your function. You'll have your absolute value bars. Looks like that. And again, a lot of people don't write the f of x. They like, when they graph it, they just see y equals absolute value of x. So, what does this graph look like? When you go to graph an absolute value function, here's what the parent function looks like. It's this one, that one. So, this is your y equals absolute value of x. So, this is your second parent function that you're going to use. When you recognize this, you're going to, oh, that's an absolute value. So we've done linear first, and now we've got absolute value. All right, and the third one we're going to do today is quadratic. So here's your third one, a quadratic function. So we've got to recognize this parent function. So f, whoa, f of x, uh, hold on just a second. And this is x to the second power. So when you see x squared, it's quadratic. And again, people like it just when you're graphing, sometimes they just write y equals x squared instead of f of x. Let's see what this graph looks like. Well, it's quadratic, so it's going to look like a parabola. So when you have a parabola, y equals x squared, Looks like that. <laughs> You're like, That's a fine looking parabola, Mr. Porter. So, third parent function where it starts, runs right through the origin right there. Here's your quadratic, y equals x squared. So we have to be able to recognize these three functions. So when you see this one, you go, oh, parent function, that's a quadratic. Or if it's a perfectly straight line, you're like, oh, that's linear. Or the other one, absolute value. Okay, so we got to identify the parent functions. The next step, we've got to move them. And these moving around things are called transformations. Transformations. So we've got to be able to identify them, and then we've got to be able to move them. We've got to transformations. The first transformation, there's two kinds we're going to run today, translations and reflections. It kind of sounds like transformation is translation. What a translation does is it either shifts it left or right horizontally or it shifts it up, down, vertically. So on our translations, it can go two ways. It can shift it horizontally. So of course that's going to be going left or right. Or it'll shift it going up, down, vertically. So that means you're either going up or you're going down. So you got a horizontal translation or a vertical translation. Let's do one. All right, here you go. So you've got a graph, this number five. Let's put the parent function up there first. So here's your parent function. You're going to have to be able to identify that and say, oh, yeah, is that linear? Is it absolute value or is it quadratic? You're like, oh, it's a perfectly straight line. It's linear. But I'm going to give you a second function. Let's say through this direction. So you've got a function, and you've got its parent function. And what this is representing 
is that from your parent function, you've shifted it right. It's a horizontal shift. So you'll describe this as a horizontal translation. So if you move it from your parent graph, if you move it left or you move it right, that's a horizontal translation. So you can identify it as linear, and then you can describe this as, oh, look at that, it's a horizontal translation. Let's do another one. Let's say I got number six here. Uh, let's do an up down one. So let's go absolute value graph. So there's my parent function. So you recognize that one as linear. You recognize this one as an absolute value function. So what's your parent graph? Oh, it's absolute value. But what if I gave you a second one down here? So when you look at the relation between the function and its parent function, you're like, oh, there's, you've ran it down. It went down. It shifted down. So up or down makes it a vertical translation. So when you go to describe what kind of movement it did, oh, you're like, oh, it went up or down. So it's a vertical translation. So we've got the parent function, dun, 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 absolute value. What happened? Oh, it's a vertical translation. Let's do a third one called a reflection. Let's do that. Number seven is a reflection. So this is when you take your graph and you reflect it across an axis. Uh, we haven't done quadratic yet. Let me try to draw that. Let's draw a quadratic. I don't think quite get it. Hold on just a sec. Try to get it right through the axis. Yeah, close. So here's our parent function. You're just like, what is it? Is it linear? Is it absolute value? Is it quadratic? You're like, oh, it's a parabola. It's quadratic. A reflection kind of mirror images it, reflects it across one of the axes. So if we're going to reflect it across the x-axis, you get its mirror image coming this way. So this would be a reflection across the x-axis. So parent function right there. The reflection and it's across the x-axis. So you can translate it, you can reflect it. Alright, let's do a couple of them that'll look like your assignment. So when you go to do this assignment, here's what I'll give you. You're gonna get uh, a picture that's gonna have a graph and it's parent graph. So here's your parent function and another function. Let's do another quadratic. So what if I gave you this? I've got you a function and its parent function. And I said, all right, you've got to identify what function family this is from. And you've got to describe the translation. So you got to identify whether it's a linear, is it absolute value, or is it quadratic. And you're looking at like, oh, those are parabolas. I got you. The function family for this is definitely quadratic. And then you have to describe what's going on here. Is this a translation that's horizontal, vertical? Maybe it's a reflection across an axis? Like Mr. Porter, here's your parent function. It shifted up. It went up. Since it went up, this is going to be a vertical translation. So for each diagram, for each picture, you got to answer two questions. You got to identify which function family it's coming from, and then you have to describe the translation. Is it horizontal? Is it vertical? Or maybe it's a reflection. So two things for each picture. Here we'll do one more just to make sure. We'll do one more. See if you got this. Okay, let's get you another graph. And let's get a parent function. And then another function. 
and we have to identify it, and then we got to describe it. All right, guys, so here's what's in front of you on this assignment. You're going to get a parent function and the function that goes with it. You have to identify what type of function family they're from. Like, are they linear? Are they quadratic? Are they absolute value? Where, what, which one are they? I'm like, oh, that's a perfectly straight line. I got this. So the function family here is from the linear functions. And then I have to describe it. So is it a reflection? Is it a translation? If it's a translation, did it go left, right? Did it go up, down? So it's definitely, here's your parent function. It translated that way to the right. So left, right means you've gone horizontally. So it's a horizontal translation. Okay, so that's what is in front of you for this assignment today. You got your graphs, you got your parent graphs, you got all the translations, reflections. There you have it.